you guys talk about the uh, uh, offensive balance you displayed? I think you had 13 players scored, 13 players played, and 11 players scored. Um, I think we have a very deep team and a very versatile team that can do a lot of different things. Um, and, and our offense is very free moving and there's a lot of opportunities for everybody to get involved. So uh, we just, everybody just took advantage of what defense gave them and were able to capitalize. To go into that, I think everybody that plays is just very unselfish too. I feel like we play within our offense, nobody really cares who gets the credit as long as we get the W at the end of the day. Mike? Uh, Robert Finnessy started a point, had no turnovers, 10 points. Uh, is that reflective of what you're seeing in, in practices and just talk about his play tonight? I think it's definitely what we've been seeing in practice and uh, in scrimmages, our previous scrimmage against another team. Um, he's done a good job as a freshman coming in and um, playing tough. You know, it's tough as a freshman to come in and play well defensively and uh, kind of run the team, but he's done, done a really good job with it so far. Go ahead, Brent. Evan, uh, biggest step from that scrimmage on Saturday in Florida to tonight you saw from the guys. What do you think? Um, I think we, we, were, we were better offensively um, moving the ball like Justin talked about. Uh, I, thought, I thought we found the open man really well. Um, yeah, we played fast. That's what, that's what coach wants us to do this year. So um, we put a lot of points on the board. And uh, I think that was a result of us playing fast and doing what we wanted offensively. Archie's talked about you guys maybe being a little bit ahead defense, ahead defensively where you are offensively as a team right now. Where, for any of you guys, where do you feel like maybe offensively you still have a, a lot of work to do before the, the season gets going here? Um, I would just say just getting more comfortable within our motion and being patient on offense. Um, we focus a lot on defense during the off season, and um, we're kind of implementing it. It's the same system, but it's kind of tweaked a little bit from last year, so we're still trying to, you know, get used to it and trying to get comfortable with everybody in different spots. Jeff? I guess to, to flip that around for any of you guys, maybe Justin in particular, about where you are defensively, how different is it for this team, just the length you guys can put on the floor and rotate through, where it's maybe not just one or two lineups that have a lot of length, but it's you can you can go with a lot of different combinations where you still have guys with hands and arms and passing length. Uh, yeah, I've, like I said before, we are a very versatile team, and that allows us to play a lot of different guys in a lot of different positions. So um, we have an athletic, we have a long team that's able to get in the passing lanes and you know make it difficult for the offense to score. So we're just be, we're just going to look forward to capitalizing on our and using our strengths to the best advantage. Go ahead. Evan, uh, the final play of the first half looked like a pretty like kind of basic offensive set to you guys. Or did you kind of clapped his hands. He started moving in motion and working with Rob. Could you kind of walk us through that play? And I guess maybe how you're fitting in with kind of those half court offensive plays that you guys are implementing. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to give away any of our plays, but uh, yeah, he um, it's it's something we've worked on in practice, um, kind of a late game situation. So um, I think it was good that we executed it and Rob made the right pass. Uh, for any of you guys, with the way Demezzi lit up the scoreboard in the second half, how big of a weapon could he be down the road? John? He's a shooter, as, as you can see. That man can put it up and he makes it. I mean, just having a weapon like that, it really stretches out the defense. So if you guys stay with him, so that it opens up driving lanes and that people over help, kick it to him, money three. So, big weapon. Johnny, what was the late point against uh, Chance Coyle to Wilmington South, guys? Yeah, it was really cool. I was wondering if that was going to happen at some point tonight. I mean, I was a freshman, or I was a senior, he was a freshman. So he's one of the guys I've grown up playing with, but uh, it was really cool to be out there with him on the court. Yes. Johnny, I'm guessing you probably go up against Rob in practice a lot, but anything that just stood out immediately when you're, you're going against each other in practice this summer is something that just you know, makes him, you know, who he is? Yeah, definitely. Coming in as a freshman, he's the strongest freshman I've ever seen. That dude is built, and he, he's tough. And when he's on the ball, defense is really good. It's tough to get around that guy. He's strong, he's quick, he's fast. He's just really solid all around. Good. Yeah, all three of you, uh, just your thoughts on uh, how uh, USI played tonight. Um, they they played a good game. Um, they challenged us uh, offensively and defensively. They gave us a little different um, actions that we haven't really focused on yet. And I mean, they played a good game, and we're looking forward to build off of it. Yeah, they, uh, they shot the ball well, obviously, in the second half. They uh, shot a pretty high percentage, so uh, coach was talking. We need to 
kind of buckled down defensively in the second half and not let that happen, but um, they did a good job knocking down the shots and running their stuff, so kudos to them. Good. You guys have had a couple chances to play against someone other than yourselves now. Has there been anything positive that surprised you guys? I think defensively has been the biggest positive thing, um, surprise, like we've talked about since we've been up here. Uh, we have a lot of length, a lot of uh, athletic ability, and uh, I think we've done a good job both games defensively. Um, I mean, at least I was I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised. It's tough to really tell that when you're going against each other in practice, but to see that in a game, it's uh, it's it's good. Justin, you talked about defense being a big focus in the off season. Where, where do you feel like this team has made the most progress uh, defensively so far? Um. I would say we have our rotations down. Well, compared to last year, we have our rotations down a lot earlier than we did last year. Um, we still got to work on uh, ball screens and a lot of other different things, but we're a little bit more ahead, and we're just looking to build off of any opportunity that we can to play. Go ahead. Yeah, Justin, uh, we talked a lot about defense and rightly so, but uh, there's seven newcomers on this team, five played tonight, got 55 points out of that group of five. Is it safe to say there's just considerably more firepower maybe this year than last? Um, I mean, it depends. It depends on how you look at it. I mean, last year we had a lot of experienced guys, but we were all adjusting to a new system. But I mean, this year everybody's kind of, or the new guys, they've kind of had us, or had us, you know, bring them up through it and, you know, kind of teach them. Um, they got a lot of early opportunities this year. And last year we were kind of, everybody was kind of going through it together. Um, so having that experience one year under all our belts in this system um, has probably helped the younger guys being having us be able to teach them. You kind of talked about it a little bit there, but talking about defense in particular, do you see the younger guys and maybe even a new guy like Evan picking it up faster this year than you guys did last year because you all can just sort of say practice, practice. You know, you, you can talk them through it a little bit more than maybe anybody could you talk you through it a year ago? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's different, you know, when the coaches tell you, and then but then having a teammate being able to explain it a different way, having gone out there and actually done this, done the stuff that they're asking us to do, so having that different perspective is definitely helpful. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.